my little friend! Ever since the invention of the gun, people have loved firing bullets at each other. Go ahead, make my day. But in 1992, Nerf offered mankind the perfect balance between indiscriminately shooting other people and not getting blood stains on our Reebok pumps. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five least lethal facts about the foamy, weird world of Nerf. Now, a sneak attack. <laughs> Number five. The origins of the Nerf name aren't as wacky as you might think. Face it, you're either on one end of a Nerf weapon or the other. Turns out that Nerf wasn't always synonymous with bruise-free fun with guns. The internet mostly says that Nerf stands for non-expanding recreational foam. But more credible sources point out that it comes from the wacky world of drag racing. RuPaul's Drag Race is back! Well, the other kind, but sure. In 1950s hot rodder slang, to nerf someone was to nudge them off course with your bumper. Nerf bars became slang for custom bumpers. And somehow, that became a foam toy. Somehow. Number four. The same dude who invented Twister is also responsible for nerf. Jay, we're playing Twister. What's up, Jay? Hey, hey quit touching my butt. Not content creating a game where people rub against one another while trying to match various body parts to colored circles, inventor Ren Geyer created a 4-inch ball that could be thrown at anything and not cause damage. You could pitch it right at your friend's faces and it wouldn't leave a mark. Hey, what are those things anyway? They're Nerf balls! Spongy foam! That doesn't hurt anything! The main selling point of this ball was that it wouldn't hurt no matter how hard you flung it. And this won the hearts of violent American children everywhere. Originally, Geyer was using the foam in a game with actual rules but that inevitably devolved into vigorous ball chucking. So they went with it. Number three, Nerf makes the big bucks. Oh yeah, so this is five modulus barrel extensions and the long range barrel, of course. Already, we have quite a bit of barrel flop. Playing with Nerf blasters is an ever growing pastime and has become popular with growing man children as well as its intended demographic of growing children children. In fact, since the introduction of Nerf blasters, over 4 billion darts have been sold and counting. And he solves the equation! The crowd goes wild! No bell! No bell! And because we live in a world where the internet connects statistic-craved weirdos with weirdos who actually do math, we now know that in the past five years, enough darts have been sold to circle the globe four times. That is crazy, but it also means crazy money for the corporate fat cats down at Nerf. 2014 saw a $620 million gross for the plastic blaster magnates, and the Guinness Book of World Records recognizes them as the biggest outdoor sports and toy brand in the world. It's Nerf or nothing! Number two, Nerf Wars are a thing. He's reloading, giving him cover! Organized Nerf Wars happen in a lot of different countries, and allow otherwise civilized human beings to come together and fire non-lethal projectiles at each other while all the while wearing big, goofy grins. Participants are armed to the gills with soft neon bullets and fire happily at each other all day long. One such gathering in Calgary recently set a Guinness World Record with 601 trigger-happy participants. Careful where you point that thing, though. A Missouri couple faced assault charges for nerf-darting a drive through worker. This caused more confusion than it did pain, but rumor has it that gun control is a bit of a sore subject in the U.S. None of these ideas should be controversial. Number one, that badass sci-fi gun battle you just watched? Nerf. This is a sexy gun. Nerf's designs are so remarkable and flashy that they've captured the attention of TV and movies alike. Put it down! Put it down! Terra Nova, reportedly one of the most expensive TV shows ever, used repainted Nerf guns to replicate actual firearms. Acclaimed cinematic gems like Mega Piranha, Hunter Prey, and the ABCs of Death have also used modified Nerf guns to hammer home their legitimacy. But these productions are basically doing what the extensive Nerf subculture does every day, modding. Modders alter Nerf products to resemble weapons from real life, popular movies, shows, and video games. Aficionados spray paint their firearms, add pieces, lights, and sound effects to make really awesome and pretty badass creations. That's what I'm talking about, noisy cricket. Well, this has been an exhilarating and thought-provoking journey, but now we have to spend the next hour picking up those darts we shot. For more fun, foamy top 10s and get one tiny hole and it won't shoot top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Not a